Few days after the presidential election of October 7, 2018, some international observers like the Jeunesse Union of CEMAC have decided to enlighten the press men and women about what they saw in the country from the time of campaign to this period. According to the observation theme, the elections that took place here in Cameroon went all hitch free. Unlike other countries, where they saw the military men in uniform molesting the civilians, beating them up and carrying ballot boxes into other places, this was not witnessed in Cameroon. They are regretting the fact that two regions of Cameroon, especially the northwest and the southwest region of the country, were facing some difficulties because of the social unrest that is going on over there. To them, it is preferable that Cameroonians registered massively in the electoral list in order that the percentage or the number of about 6,600,000 Cameroonians who registered last time for the presidential election should increase. There, head of the observation team from Congo, who was chairing the press conference, has this to say. On a assisté à deux périodes importantes, la période de la campagne et le scrutin. Il fallait donc qu'après ces deux euh, moments très importants, que nous sortions et que nous disions ce que nous avions vu, ce que nous avions observé, c'est ce qu'on vient de faire tout à l'heure. Et en résumé, qu'est-ce que nous avons dit Nous avions dit que notre mission était là depuis le 1er octobre. Donc on a eu la chance de suivre la campagne. Et nous avions dit que la campagne s'est déroulée dans un climat de sérénité, dans un climat de paix, dans une ambiance conviviale. Et nous avons ajouté que la presse, vous, vous avez fait aussi un grand travail parce que vous avez fait des efforts de couvrir tous les moments afin que l'opinion nationale et internationale soit au fait, au courant de ce qui se passait. One thing you should understand is this. In most countries, during election periods, there is upheavals. Uprising, people run up and down. But the truth is, until the 22nd of this month, when the Constitutional Council has the right to proclaim the results, that is when Cameroonians are going to know who truly was elected as the president of the country on the 7th of October. Elezi Yanda, Takang Bison for Seven News.